So, uh, I need to purchase this Eastern Barbican, obviously, because it's basically free. Um, and I'm not going to buy, I don't think necessarily I'm going to buy anything else. Uh, resting bonuses from spending the night in Bright Hollow. Repair your Great Hall, allowing visitors and adventurers to be available. So I could buy more adventurers. Most things look like they... So I can have events, that's exciting. Some new adventures. Um, upgrades to the stronghold, yeah, which we were just looking at. Um, so my status here, hirelings that will defend the stronghold in case I get attacked. So it's like a little mini game. Um, and companions I currently have in my party and ones that I can accept. Okay, cool, yeah. So I'm gonna throw a little bit more gold at Bright Hollow. And then I'm gonna come back. I'll come back to this action later. Okay, so let's let's leave the keep for now. And I'm gonna walk to. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna start heading towards. Um, well, towards the Eastern Barbican. And I'm gonna go uh, go to the city. A bit just like your breeches, scholar lad. Oh, and I should actually talk to my I friends. I beg your pardon? Nothing. I said nothing. And Looks like all, almost all my NPCs yes. have conversation options for me. Hmm. Aleth seems lost in thought. He flinches when you draw near, sucking a sharp breath through his teeth. What can I do for you? Of course. Merely processing some of the unusual things we've seen lately. And if Meowald is to be believed, it would seem you've an uncertain future ahead. There was no point. In, there's no point in speculating now. Perhaps Defiance Bay holds the answers we need. Hmm. I want to discuss something else. How long were you in Gilded Vale? Much longer than you, as you saw, it's hardly the haven had been advertised. I've been gone for more than a year now, but I suspect I'll always think of the forests and fields of. Adir is home with thousands of years of history and tradition behind us. A sense of dignity and responsibility that comes with that. Of course, there's baggage as well. Our imperial past is still fresh in the minds of many, as you may have noticed here. So you got the leaden key agents. Okay, I can do that. Hey, that old watcher. <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but it sure wasn't that. Ah, uh, it's... well, it's kind of embarrassing now. I just got a dumb idea in my head is all. I don't know why I thought it'd work. It's funny. That's probably the first thing I got my hopes up for in... I don't know... years. At least I got that out of it. All right. Yes, fair is fair, and you did bring me to see him. Those rumors back in Gilded Vale about my brother, Woden. About how he turned against us and fought for Widewin. Been on my mind for some time now. The thing about Woden was he always knew what was right, and that's what he'd do. One day he set out to fight for Deerwood against a man claiming to be our god. So I knew that's what I had to do too. It was right. The hearing claims that he died fighting for Ray at Saris, and that got me worried. Not that he'd chosen the wrong side, but that I had. Didn't seem right what Wideone had in store, but if he really was Aethys, I thought maybe this old Watcher would know how my brother died, so I could see if it was true. Like he could, I don't know, read it in my soul or something. Use our connection. Told you it was dumb. Why didn't you ask me for help? I don't know. Guess because I didn't know you. It's hard to trust a stranger. Says she's a Watcher. Of course, I knew the truth deep down. Watcher's not psychic. I think I just had this idea. And the idea Watcher's not psychic, but I am. I didn't want to lose that. Almost very explicitly, I'm a psychic. That's my thing. Really, if I want to find out my brother, I shouldn't be starting with Watchers. I should start with the records. If there was anything written down, they'd have it in Defiance Bay. I got an archive at the place. You've done a lot palace. for me already. It's at Palace. If you could see fit to pay that archive a visit with me, well, you know. No, in my luck, the records clerk will go. I recognize this guy's voice from somewhere. I'd feel better with you in there with me. 
Got it. All right. I gain some experience yes. for that. Let's talk to this guy. I confess. I was hoping our meeting with Mayorwald would go a little differently. But then, you have gained an entire keep. I don't think I've seen anyone inherit land that quickly since Kind the Younger read her father's will. He, his voice sounds a little bit like the guy that sings the You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch song. It will give you a base from which to go searching at least. And You're then, mean there one, are secrets beneath Mr. the keep yet. Grinch. <laughs> With you at the helm, it should be easier to explore the endless paths. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Onward, then, to uh, the bridge, I suppose. Get attacked by a skirmish. Regular troll. Those are cool looking. My Groot, Groot esque. Did you say Sacra Blue? <laughs> Okay, fine. I'll use some spells and stuff on him. Not to alarm me, but I'm slowly dying of poison. There we go. You had that coming, troll. You had that coming. I feel, um, yeah, I feel like, um, the, the game, it's doing an okay job, uh, imparting setting to me, um, but in a lot of it, the, they, I feel like they run a little long on descriptions, like that conversation that we had in the basement just there before the boss, too much talking compared to the amount of information that I was getting, um, I'd love to get more in less time because um, I'm playing a game and I don't necessarily want to just like sit here and have the game tell me about things um, I want to discover them myself um, yeah curse my luck the woman mutters kicking her foot to the ground turning a clot of soil as you approach her ears twitch she turns to greet you hail traveler she says with a half-hearted hand wave. The bridge to Defiance Bay is out. If that's where you're headed, you'll need to find another route. What destroyed the bridge? The river's been rising on account of the storms. Flooding did the most damage. The Orland woman folds her arms, a scowl over to your face. Guess they don't make things to last around here, do they? One of the stone columns collapsed in a flash flood, taking a whole middle section of the bridge out to sea. Madmere Bridge was the most direct route from Gilded Vale to Defiance Bay. Merchants and travelers near now have to find boat passage or add days of extra travel to loop around the bay. So I started a ferry service. Think I'd earn some coin and help others cross over to the bay. 
That was a bigger mistake than the time I allowed a cipher to Corby. Hey! I'm a cipher! What are you talking about? I'm, I'm a nice lady! Blasted currents through my ferry into the rocks. Making matters worse, when I went to prowl ashore to salvage whatever shipping crates, a pair of looters attacked me. Damn brigands had the nerve to attack. Managed to evade harm, but now they've stolen all that is left of my fortune. Oh, that's a shame. <sighs> okay. You know, you'd like you look like you'd fare better against those looters than little old me. Uh yeah. Totally. I love wrecking bad guys. Let's do this thing. Point me at him. Just, 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 just give, me the, give me the weapons. Let's do it. Where are these jerks at? I guess probably towards the river. <laughs> I traveled completely in the wrong direction. Some travelers. That over there? That'd be the easy way to get to Defiance oh. Bay. Before the floods, anyway. Well, that's a shame. <laughs> well, I guess we'll just have to wander around a little bit further and find that woman's ferry and try to reassemble it. Also, hello, everybody from Coast Channel. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> I see you. I see you bombing my channel. <laughs> Welcome. This is me, I'm fighting looters. You know, it's pretty good. To close your eyes, Watcher. Not all of us are on such bad terms with sleep. Yeah. Oh, he's all fatigued. Poor little guy. All right, some miscellaneous looters. Eh? Henwin and a whole bunch of looters. All right, I'm gonna pause. Well, I'm gonna save here, and then we'll um we'll see if we can take these guys out. Okay. Men and women pick through the driftwood, snatching muddy silverware, moldy clothes, chip pottery, and anything they can spot. Where are Brettel and Terran? They were just along that path and we heard fighting. You. You killed them! You speak of self defense for defending ourselves from this storm. The floods took our entire farm. We have nothing left! I don't want to fight you. You've lost enough already. Uh, that doesn't change the fact that you're stealing. <laughs> okay! Well, if they just want to attack me, that's fine. I don't understand that that behavior in NPCs where they just jump to violence so quickly. I mean, don't they know I'm a player character? Don't they know that they're going to get destroyed? I mean, obviously they don't. They, they don't have that ability to see what we can see. Hey. Well, they'll be dead in a second anyway. Hey. Dead in just a moment. Hey. Yes. Okay. And this appears to be the end of this. Okay. Great, well, we've defeated them completely. <laughs> I hope they've learned their lesson, and that in the next life, they're not quite so foolish. Plus, I got a cool helmet out of the deal. So, you know, hard to argue with that. Yeah, let's give everybody hats. Would you like a hat? No, your turban is way cooler than this ugly hat. How about you? Oh my god. <laughs> he looks ridiculous. I'm keeping it. So resolve and perception. I'm gonna I can't I can't wear a hat. And this is a mite hat. So I guess okay, I guess you don't have to wear the stupid hat. I'll give that to this this guy. Here. There you go. 
Looking good, Aloth. Looking really good. <laughs> so beautiful. Look at him. Aw, oh, yeah. Hmm. Really suits him. Good wizard garb. Alright, I got the fairy cargo nice back. Quiet. There doesn't appear to be anything hidden here. Uh, I'm going to go back and turn this quest in. Okay. So she's left, and I need to find another way to get to the get to Defiance Bay. Quickly and quietly. Uh, though I do not know how. Hmm. I mean, all these guys have stuff, but I don't know. I guess I should take it, especially now that I have to care about money. Good point, good point. It just feels like tedium. And also I've got a lot of bad habits built into me from uh, my, my recent playthrough of Fallout. I'm, uh, I've got... <laughs> yeah, I've got, I've got the fear. Okay, okay. I think it may be time to strike up camp. Ugh. Yeah, I know you're sleepy. Poor guy. So, the planes, I guess, and then this bridge? Yeah, alright. still tired, so let's do that. Yeah, yeah. Commander Shepard dreams. Here lies an unfortunate lord who responsibly stored above his bed poorly fastened his magical sword. Yeah, yeah. Uber, he loved to run and run. Here lies boob plate. Oh, Kickstarter backers. Why? Eh? Why must you be that way? Oh, yeah, yeah. Trolls, huh? Oh, what's this? A Puigra. Hmm. That's a lot of trolls. Hi. Good thing I have all my spells. Hmm. R.I.P. Boob Plate. On your word. How may I help? Yeah. pretty well, I think. OK. 
Okay. Let's cast one of his Chanter spells. Uh, I like the skeletons. I like the skeletons way too much not to use them. like this spell when I can um, when I can freeze them uh, it feels like it doesn't hit often enough to feel overpowered on your word um, which I guess is nice do I like kind of like being OP hey? how may I help rock Let's get some more skeletons up in this place. How do we feel about that? Eh? And uh, let's. I don't know. Should charm somebody. I don't use that one enough. I guess because it just takes such a long time to cast. And let's do it again. Constantly eating shit in the middle of fights. He's very fragile. I should have kept him a little further back. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Paralyzed. Everybody hit her really hard with things. <laughs> Come on. Make her dead with your weapons. There we go. Uh, I'm curious to see what that thing was. Puigra. Oh, yeah. Rotten leaf, more typically called the Puigra. The sign Delamgan that has been corrupted by destruction of their home tree, Adrastone. Eh, cool. They're like, um, corrupt versions of dryads, I guess. That's pretty neat. Yes, I know. Oh, cool, you can buy them from here. That's nice. Mm, I could use some... I could use some material. Uh, I think I'm going to go back to the keep and uh, rest and see if there's a merchant there or something that I can buy. Um, uh, what's this called? Uh, camp supplies. This little dance was my camp supply dance. You see me, I'm trying to, try to build like a fire with my arms. And flailing around. Okay. You must gather your party before venturing forth. So where's my party? Yeah, rebuild me in. This is a cool idea. So this this is the game adding something. You remember I was talking about before. Um, I was talking about how there was a problem with. Is this not the inn? Where's the town inn? 
um, that this game didn't add anything to the Baldur's Gate like model. So this is the first place that I've seen where uh, that's not true. So we've added in something new, um, which I think is kind of cool. This doesn't look restored. This just still looks like a total shithole. There's a specific place that I can go to rest. Ah, there we go. There we go. Up the stairs. Just for storing my stuff in. That's cool. giving me a lot of like empty stuff there's the bed excellent it's fine with me resting with no bonus okay I guess I can sink more stuff into my Keep. It's a lot of money though. But everything else has to come from it. Hmm. No. Maybe I'll go visit. Um, maybe I'll go visit the town first, and uh, we'll come back. Yeah. I think that that would be fair. Because I can always uh, I can always start upgrades from anywhere. I can just dump my money into the magical ATM and have it uh, transport back to my uh, transport back to my keep somehow via magic. Thank goodness for magic. You Living in the late medieval would be forth. so inconvenient without it. Okay. So, on the road again. I'm gonna press on, kind of hang west. I need to get to a um I need to get to a place where I can Hush, Itumak. We'll just oh, wait a little. Hello. Oh, cool. A dwarven woman dressed in skins and hides leans against the road marker. Her face is turned down, her eyes darkened by a thick stripe of face paint. She's sharpening a bone arrowhead with a scrimshaw handled knife. Her attention, however, is focused on a bear figurine between her feet. A large white furred fox standing at her heels looks at your approach. Easy, Itumak. It's not him. Short version? I'm looking for a very, very old friend. I'm not sure what skin he's wearing now, but I'll know him when I see him. Can I help you find him? The last helpful stranger only succeeded in lightening my purse. You'll handle this on my own. That's what I heard. Of course, the man who told me so was carrying a staff he claimed was made from dragon bone, but I know Whitewood when I see it. That should have been my first clue, but I had to try something. The long version. Here we go. I'm from an island to the far south called Nasitok. I came here looking for a village elder, a man we knew as Persok. I'm a hunter back home, so tracking someone wouldn't normally be a problem. But Persok's trail is cold, to say the least. Why can't you find him? There can't be that many of your people, Darwood. Ah, you're looking for his latest reincarnation. Okay. Been looking for five years for a stranger you barely remember. That about sums it up. 
Then you have my feel. sympathies. Hopefully, you've got a better lead than I do. How does that figure into things? Dust the room. It's the shape of a bear, smooth and round. The polished outer is worn to a dull matte along its arched back and ovoid haunches. A soft glow emanates from within. Cute, isn't it? It belonged to Persoff. Before he returned to the wheel, he left a splinter of his soul in it. Something to help Traces of him. someone. When I left Nasitok, it was completely dark inside. But as I've gotten closer to Persoff, it's glowed steadily. As <laughs> so it's a homing device. Since I've reached the Deerwood, however, it's gotten hard to read. Some days it flickers and goes dark. Others it shines nice and bright hmm. for a few hours. Well, do you I do can now? tell you what I won't do again. Lion. Rely on miracle peddlers. It was some so-called watcher who sent me to this crossroads. So-called watcher. Yeah, I was that's. Mm, the I'm one of those. <laughs> supposedly see souls. I knew it was a long shot, but what did I have to lose? I went to see this fellow and gave him the Audra figurine. He made a big show of moaning and rolling his eyes, and after I'd given him five golden dukes to lift the shroud, he told me to seek the crossroads in the field between the wolf's lair and the twining trees. He thought he was being vague, but I know the area well enough to recognize that he meant this place, right between Defiance Bay and Twin Elms. I had a bad taste in my mouth, but my coin was spent and I'd already left an arrow in his knapsack as a May I see away. that figure? Why? Why not? Fine. But if you try to run, just remember that my arrows are faster. <laughs> there we go. Standing on a cliff, seeing through eyes that aren't your own, you get a musk of beasts. You look down long enough to see the sharp, pale cliffs drop into the water hundreds of feet below. What are you talking about? What just happened? I'm a real watcher. You realize I've got no coin to give you. Even if I did believe you. Come with me. I have other business in the area and we can look for Persock on the way. And if this is your idea of a joke, you may be stuck with me for a while. So I'm getting the, the general idea that she's, uh, and Nasatak in general, uh, are um, uh, Native American inspired, um, like indigenous people inspired. Um, so I wonder if... Yeah, I mean, I wonder. I'm going to keep her around, and I'm curious about that. But, like, the, the Q sounds and stuff make me think um, that that's, ready, the, that's the inspiration there. Ready, watcher. That's what she has to say. Even if you are putting one over on me, it's nice to have a hunting party again. So you've been gone from home for a long time. Five years for me. Must be 30-something for Ichimok. Cute. It certainly started out that way. It's been a long hunt. Yeah, they're into it, probably. A long time away from my family. Before, I'd crossed the tundra of Nasitok following caribou herds. I didn't want to leave Kalu and our children, but I was eager to visit lands my people rarely do. But five years without finding him. It's like two hours of necking. I'm ready to be done with it. <laughs> uh... Soul recovery is an old village tradition. We call it the Tarnak Elitsak. Once in a generation, we seek the soul of a much respected and long dead village elder. We tell him what's changed in the village, how people remember him. The only other Tarnak Elitsak during my lifetime happened when I was a girl, not long after Persak died. We feasted on blubber and fermented milk for a week, and we honored the chosen huntress as a hero. That's cool. So they're presenting like she's a badass hunter with a pet and like uh, she's the one that like left the village um, and the huntress that she's talking about was a woman too. So it's cool that they have a culture that is um, uh, sort of inverts some of the normal tropes for, for women. But we otherwise didn't speak of her. I'm sure your village still remembers you, Sigani. It's not being forgotten by my village that troubles me. But... Sometimes I wonder how my husband and children remember me, if they think of me often. That must be difficult. Still, there's no point in dwelling on it. More often I find myself wondering whether Persoff will remember us. You claim to see souls. What do you what do think? You, do you remember your past lives? In fragments? What's that like? Uncomfortable? 
frustrating. I'm learning a lot about myself. Maybe Persock will be the same way. Would make my job of telling him about the village a lot easier. Masuk is probably much the same as it was a hundred years ago. We live between tundra and frozen forests, and the land takes as much as it gives. But our hardships bring us together. And the elders truly unite us. They keep the stories of past generations, and they guide us from season to season, through good years and lean. Recently, there's been a lot of good years. My aunts say they've had fewer clashes with neighboring village thanks to the hunting territory that Persak helped establish. Bad years rely on trade with the merchant and pass our shoulders. We exchanged walrus tusks and seal pelts for grains that last us the hard winter. Persak brokered a lot of those agreements, too. He got this from one of the Alma ships that used to trade with us. That's what I'm supposed to remind him. You're on hunting ground. You feeling the thrill of the chase? You're ready for it to be over. I enjoy the adventure. Darkness on our side. Shall we move on? Let's go. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I like her. So she's a um Ready, watcher. a ranger. So marked prey. Wounding shot. Okay, cool. So a bit like a World of Warcraft Point style away. ranger. Eh? And she got eat to mock. Take a look. The other bridge. Hocratic Bridgeman. Yeah, I just don't feel the need to read any of those. I don't know. I don't know why. Like, I feel like... Hello, Justicar. Hail, traveler. What's the problem, guy? You get out uh, get any quests for me? Because I, I like quests. Thousands of them. Shit, give them to me. Thousands of quests. I want all the XP. Let's do it. We are refugees coming in from all parts under the misguided notion that things are actually better here, that the legacy somehow passed us over. They show up with no prospects and little money and end up being a worse mess of things. <laughs> so it's like uh, it's like New York. I don't have the dime right now. First fires. Okay, well, hey, let's go to Baldur's Gate. I mean, whatever this place is called. Baldur's... Keep. To protest and to heckle, calling for an end to Anomancy and the ouster of their duke. The city's militiamen cast fearful looks as they patrolled the streets, their hands trembling at the hilts of their weapons. The capital of a country that had not long ago incinerated a god now appears to be a spark away from sharing the deity's fate. Yeah, welcome to Alm. Welcome to Om. Here is a cat. I miss Adia already. These anime nerds have brought the devil down upon us. Got those anime nerds. They're just the worst. You know, instead of getting uh, getting all up in this place right now, um, I am going to uh, I'm going to save my game, and I will save. Defiance Bay uh, for next time.